Galileo fell in love. Tonight, TNT meets the legendary X Factor finalist Mary Byrne just ahead of her debut sellout concert here in the Olympia Theatre, which is all a part of her new tour that's going to be touring Ireland and the UK. Well, let's see what she has to say. He looked up high and often sighed and sometimes cried. So, Mary, are you all excited tonight? We're here I, uh, in the Olympia. In the Olympia, and I'm, I'm you know, I'm looking at the, the famous people up here that have played the Olympia. Yeah. And it's fantastic. And then. Mm. You know, 53 years of age, being given this... I mean, I've done it here before, but this is my show now. Yeah. You know, this is me on my own. Well, as we said earlier on, it was like, you were saying you were, you were standing there on the steps, on the stage, looking out, and in your head you're thinking, tonight this place is yeah, going to be packed to the rafters for you. It was a wonderful feeling. Yeah. And, and I can't... I, you have to have... You have to feel it. To, I couldn't explain it to you. Yeah. But I stood up on the steps, and I looked out into the whole theatre. Yeah. The seats were empty, but I could picture them mm -hmm. being full. And I said... The first thing that came into my head was... Oh my God, these people have paid for you to come and sit and listen to me sing. And it's, it's such an honour. So it's there'll be wonderful. tears tonight now, do you I reckon? will have yeah. a cry. Yeah. I guarantee you there will be a <laughs> tear. Win. As, soon as, as soon as the curtain goes up and yeah. I appear and I sing the song and I come down off the, the thing and people applaud me, I will just go into floods of tears. Oh, well. Are we enjoying Mary Byrne? Yeah. Oh no, we're not. Yeah. Oh, I mean. Tell me earlier on that you're going to do a tribute to uh, Susan Boyle. What, what's the reason for that and why? Well, Susan, that? I mean, you, you remember Susan going on to yes. Britain's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. When we all looked at that first audition when she walked out, every single human being on the air that watched it, yep. their expression was, oh my God, mm -hmm. you know, here she comes. She, was, she looked flumpy, she looked empty, yep. like we all did. Judging before We, we judged the book before or, the cover. Yeah. And then she started to sing and she sang this beautiful song, I Dreamed a Dream. Yeah. And this fabulous voice came out but apart from the fabulous voice it was the fact that she the age she was the person she was to have the courage and the guts to get up and do that mm -hmm. <laughs> With all this sort of X Factors and Britain's Got Talent and all these, the voice and that, these big, big talent shows, do you think that, uh, would you recommend them or would you say, because there's an awful lot of stigma goes on about these shows, like, I, I think they're great for people to do, but also it's all about how, how clever you are also with the business as well, isn't it? That's true as well. I mean, a lot of the shows that you look at, I mean, in particular, the X Factor, which I know about, yeah. it is a story that sells as well as mm -hmm. the, the, you know, if you've got a good voice, it is a story yeah. that sells. I would recommend people to go for them, but at the moment I think the market is flooded with, with so many uh, new acts coming in and out. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if they can go go on for much longer. Yeah. But if they're going on and somebody has a dream, I think they should go for them. <laughs> You're going to go try and go a slightly different direction with your music. Yeah. Now, talk to us about that. Well, I country music is yeah. what I'm trying to go for. Don Meskel is going to be uh, writing an album. I'm going to be co-writing a couple Fantastic. of Fantastic. And um, we're hoping to get a few duets on it. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the duets we're looking for is Kenny Rogers. And he hasn't said no, so let's put it that way. Well, absolutely. I'll tell you a hand on another. An absolutely brilliant night. Ladies and gentlemen, Mary Byrne and our Gold Album. That's one for you.